In the previous video, we have learned how to use data's post-estimation commands to check whether the residuals are normally distributed, whether the data has a constant variance, and whether the multicollinearity problem exists after we estimate an ORS regression model. We used graphs in that video. We will see statistical diagnostics in this video. The STAT command after the ORS regression shows the post-estimation statistics of that regression. The STAT summarize command provides a summary table of the variables we use in the regression. It automatically restricts the sample used in the regression. So the sample size here is smaller than that when we summarize the data in the beginning. Next, we can check multicollinearity using the STAT VIF command. VIF stands for Variance inflation factor. This command produces a table of information on how much each expenditure variable inflates the variance. In other words, how much each variable contributes to multicollinearity. The variance inflation factor of a certain variable is computed using the R squared from regressing that variable on all other expenditure variables. A VIF less than 10 implies no multicollinearity problem, as in our example. The command STAT VCE displays the variance covariance matrix of the estimates from the previous model. The correlation option specifies that the correlation matrix is displayed. Here we see the correlations between the expenditure variables. The correlations are low, and we shouldn't be worried about multicollinearity. The next command is to test heteroscedasticity. The command STAT head test performs the BP test for heteroscedasticity. The long hypothesis is the constant variance. We have a large chi-square statistic and a tiny p-value, meaning that we reject the long hypothesis of homoscedasticity. In other words, we have evidence of heteroscedasticity in the model. We can use the option right-hand side and multiple test to tell data to do the test for each expenditure variable. We see that all expenditure variables, except for age, contribute to heteroscedasticity. The heteroscedasticity could also be due to the specification of the model. We may consider transforming the outcome variable to the log of wage. Finally, we can perform the Ramsey reset test by using the command STAT OV test. OV test stands for omitted variables test, but it actually tests for the missing polynomials of the existing expenditure variables. That is, whether a square term or an interaction term of the expenditure variables are omitted from the model. We reject the null hypothesis at a 5% significance level. It suggests that we should try the square term or the interaction term of the expenditure variables, or we should try the log of the outcome variable.